Hey guys, I'm Dr. Manan Shah, I'm a board certified ENT. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about one of the most common causes of dizziness called BPPV. This is when people describe that they turn their head or they roll over in bed and the world sort of shakes and they get dizzy for about five to 10 seconds. It will go away, but then you still feel sort of unsteady for a few hours afterwards. So how does this happen? Well, let's get into it. So the way that your body knows where you are in space is inside your ear, there are these canals called your semicircular canals. And these canals have fluid that shifts around inside the canals. And so when you turn your head, the fluid shifts from one direction to the other. And there are cells inside those canals that bend with the fluid shift. And at the top of those cells are little bones called otoliths. Some people call them crystals, but that's just because they're tiny little bones. So when the fluid shifts one way, the otoliths or the bones cause the cells to bend one way or the other. And sometimes, unfortunately, those little pieces of bone can become disarticulated or dislodged. And when they come off, then when you turn your head one way, all the fluid shifts one way and all the cells shift one way, but that little bone floats the other way and it causes a couple of cells to bend the wrong way. So what happens then is your body starts getting signals saying, you're moving this way, wait, no, you're moving that way, no, you're moving this way. And you experience those mixed signals as dizziness. And so it's sort of like when you shake up a snow globe, for the time it takes for those little rocks to kind of fall back down to the bottom of the snow globe, you're dizzy. So how can we fix this? Well, one of the good things is that it really only causes problems when they're in certain parts of the semicircular canals. And so if you see an ENT, what we can do is we can do an exercise called the Dick's Hall Pike, and then an exercise called the Epley, where we take those little pieces of bone and we move them into a part of the ear that isn't gonna be causing as much dizziness. Now, there are actually videos online that can teach you how to do this, but I always caution that patients have to make sure they're doing it to the right direction. Otherwise, you could actually make it worse. It's sort of like moving a marble around in the maze, except you can't see the marble and you can't see the maze. Anyways, hopefully this was helpful. The good news is a lot of times if you're having dizziness that you just turn your head and it makes your head shake for a little bit and then it goes away, most of the time it's nothing bad or scary but you should see an ENT. And obviously if you're having any symptoms like heart attack, stroke, or blindness, or any other weird symptoms, you should go to an emergency room. I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, please subscribe. Thanks.